Hi, I'm Steve Locker. I've been involved in the game of soccer for over 40 years. I'm the first American to have earned a professional coaching diploma in Germany. I've coached at Harvard University, and I've worked with many pro teams in Europe, including AC Milan. I've been so fortunate to have those wonderful experiences, and I don't take any of them for granted. I've taken everything I've learned over the years and have spent the past five years working with children, teaching them the game of soccer here at the Locker Soccer Academy. I'm very passionate about working with the kids. Maybe it's because 75% of all children are leaving the game of soccer by the age of 13. Kids drop out of soccer and other sports because they're rushed into competition way too early. They never have a chance to simply just play the game. With the help of child development experts, soccer coaches, and parents, the program you're about to watch will help coaches like you curb the dropout statistic. This sample video is part of a series that show how to introduce soccer activities to children to help them develop physically, mentally, and emotionally, all while having fun. With each video practice session, you'll also get a printed version of what you've seen. This way, you can see for yourself how and why we approach each practice the way we do. And you'll have a printed version to refer to at your team's practice. The amazing thing you'll see through this program is how much your kids will learn while they're laughing and running. You'll see them evolve throughout the season, and not only that, but they'll look forward to every week with eagerness and enthusiasm. And most importantly, that same enthusiasm will carry over into next season. By creating the right environment, we are allowing children the opportunity to develop their own passion for this wonderful game. Remember, we're here to play soccer, and the emphasis is on the word play. The cone maze is today's warm-up activity. This is an excellent game to get the kids running, changing direction, keeping a ball close to their feet, and getting their muscles prepared for stretching. In the cone maze, we randomly spread out a series of cones around the field and give them enough space to meet with success, but also at the same time, give them an opportunity to challenge themselves as they change directions with the ball. To make the game even more fun, we can introduce a series of goals around the cones so that they can score goals while dribbling. And this way, they're celebrating, scoring, laughing, and running all at the same time. In our stretching series, the children will be performing about four or five stretches. We like to keep that number fairly consistent from week to week, and we like to introduce new stretches each week. In addition to the stretches, we also like to introduce a balancing activity, which helps them focus on how to maintain balance, and I think this is a very important part of the whole motor skill development process that children go through, especially for young athletes. Today's soccer activity is balloon juggling. Now, balloon juggling is simply an activity that allows children to be comfortable with trying to keep a round object up in the air. It teaches them about timing, about relaxation, and at the same time, using different parts of their body to strike the ball. The balloons, of course, are not filled up with helium, but filled up with regular air, and they will float in the air nice and slowly, allowing the children plenty of opportunities for success and confidence building, and what kid doesn't love playing with a balloon? This next activity is our shuttle sprint portion. In shuttle sprints, the coach will have all of the children line up at a starting point, and then we'll introduce a series of cones that represent different destinations. The children will run out to the shortest destination and back, and then out to the next one, and so on. As they run, they are working on their speed development, changing direction, and as you watch the children do this activity, they all have smiles on their face. Kids just love doing shuttle sprints. Today's final activity is a game that I like to call Alligator Alley. In this game, the coach will set up a rectangular field with all of the soccer balls on one of the sidelines. The players get on the end lines and try to run from one end line to the other without letting the alligator hit them with a soccer ball. As they run back and forth, they try to avoid being hit. If they get hit, as you can see in the video, they will have to cross their arms each time they get hit until finally, if they get hit a third time, they are now hopping on one leg. It allows the children plenty of opportunity to run back and forth, developing a higher level of fitness, having a lot of fun, and also working on changing direction, changing pace, uh, agility and reaction time, and uh, spatial recognition as well. Once again, as you can see, the children are all laughing and running and having a great time. What a great way to finish this day's practice session.